Thank you very much for uh, showing up today here at JNR. My name is Alan Perry. I'm with Delkin Devices, and we are a digital camera accessory manufacturer. When you take a photograph and you want to save it someplace, you have a couple of options on what to do. You could just keep it on your hard drive, but we all know that hard drives can crash. So you could uh, fill up a memory card and just never erase it and just keep the memory card somewhere and that would be a way of storing your pictures. That's kind of an expensive way of doing it. Not really the purpose of what memory <laughs> cards were designed for. And another way you could, what a lot of people do, is they burn disk, they burn their images to a disk, either a CDR or a DVDR. And most of the CDRs and DVDRs that you buy on the market right now are made with silver. You can tell by just lifting them up and you can see a silver uh, bottom. It's very, very um, risky to put anything important on a silver disk because we just know the element of silver, it oxidizes, it tarnishes, it can fade, and uh, the lifespan of a silver disk these days are anywhere they say between two to five years. I'm talking about CDRs and DVDRs. I'm not talking about a store-bought CD or a store-bought DVD. Those are made differently. Those don't oxidize and tarnish in the same way as the really inexpensive silver discs do. But if you're looking for permanent storage, if you're looking for a way to archive your files where you know it's really going to be there, that you want to be able to pass down to generation to generation, it really has to be on gold. Because we all know as an element that gold does not uh, break down, it does not tarnish, it does not fade. Now we're offering gold CDRs and gold DVDRs that are made with gold. They're not just gold color, they're actually made with real gold. And we have tested them in accelerated testing machines and the CDs have a 300 year lifespan and the DVDs right now have a 100 year lifespan. The reason why the CDs have a longer lifespan is because when you record or you burn a disc it burns lines, and a CD is at 700 megabytes, so the lines are burned thicker. A DVD is 4.7 gigabytes, but the same size disc, so the lines are burned thinner. All it takes is for one line to oxidize, and your disc is unreadable. The next product that I'd like to move on to is our sensor scope cleaning system. This is the most effective way to clean your sensor on your camera. The old way to do it is to take a picture of a white background or a blue sky and blow it up and see if there's anything on your sensor. We've now come up with a new way and a better way by using this scope, which has a light that you put over the, the opening of your camera, you lock your mirror up, you look in, and you see if it even needs to be cleaned at all. This is the most important piece because the best thing you can do is not touch your sensor at all or not clean it at all. First thing you do with your camera is you lock your mirror up. If you have a Canon, it's called sensor clean mode manual. If you have a Nikon, it's called mirror lockup. If you have an Olympus or Sony, there's another word that they use. They all do the same thing. It's just basically what you want to do is lock up your mirror so you see the green sensor. This fits right over it. It's one size fits all, so it's not meant to permanently attach. It's just meant to fit snug. But you want to steady it with your finger and your thumb. You turn the light on first, and you, you don't, don't put it on top and look. Put it right on it. Don't look from this far away. Put your eye right on it, and you can see your sensor like you've never seen it before. If it's just, as I said, a couple spots, we have a vacuum. And this is very important because there's a lot of different sensor clean uh, systems out there that use blowers. All a blower does is move the dust from one place to another. And what you really want to do is get it out of your camera. Because if you just move it from one place to the other, you clean it, you blow it, you pick it up, it's just going to go right back on your sensor. So you clean the chamber really good. Get into all those little cracks around the camera because if you don't do that, obviously, that's going to find a way to get on your sensor too. If you just have one little spot or two little spots, what I do with the vacuum is you don't go back and forth. Just go straight down on it and it'll pick, it'll suck it right up. It's either powered by four double A's, but my favorite part, it's also powered by USB. So you don't even need batteries at all. You just plug it into the side of your computer and, and have it powered that way. If it requires a more thorough cleaning than just what the vacuum can do, 
then we recommend using the swabs and the solution. What's great about this solution, it's non-flammable, doesn't have alcohol in it like most of the other cleaning solutions out there, which means you can travel with it on an airplane. Even though it's less than three ounces, you can't even travel anymore with anything that's flammable, no matter how little you have, if it can catch on fire. It just takes two drops off the, on one side and wait about 20 seconds. You don't want to saturate it. You don't need to get it that wet. Two drops is all it takes. All you do is just swipe it one time, turn it over, and dry it. That's it. You don't want to do it any more than that because if obviously if you're swiping it twice, you're just putting you're, you're just putting back on the sensor what you just took off. One time, dry it, and you never use this again. It's contaminated. That's why you get more wands. That's why JNR also sells refill kits where you can buy more wands and more solution. Our pop-up shade is custom fit for whatever camera you have. We have a number of different pop-up shades out there in JNR stocks, most of them. We even have pop-up shades for uh, point and shoots. What's great about this is that for an SLR, it's two pieces. This snaps off. This slides over the eyepiece. It has a little lip at the bottom that clicks on. It always protects your LCD. It also protects the buttons. The buttons are all functional. That's why they're custom to whatever camera that you have. We find that the more you press your buttons on your camera with the oil on your skin, the like more likelihood that the ink starts to fade. If you go outside and you need the shade, this just pops on and off. So you have the option of either having it on or having it off.